Okay. So, procedure is called an implanted cardiac monitor, or an implanted loop recorder is the old name. It's a tiny little microchip in a little thing which I'll put on camera for you in a second. And what it does is it gives us a continuous, uninterrupted, 24-7 recording of your EKG, your heart's rhythm. See, in the past, from time to time, we've sporadically caught periods of irregularity called atrial fibrillation. That's extraordinarily common. Last month, another study looked at giving folks over the age of 70 one of these monitors, and a full 30% had episodes of atrial fibrillation. And you don't have to feel them, but it matters mostly because the periods of irregularity can present a risk of blood clots forming, which if a blood clot leaves your heart, that'll, that's bad. That can land in your brain, and that's what a stroke is. It's a blood clot to the brain. So you take a medication. Most people take uh, Xeralto. You've been on it for longer and older. Slightly older, but very effective one is Pradaxa. So you take that. And that's very good at preventing strokes. Doesn't matter if you have five minutes or five months of AFib, you're, it's like having a seatbelt on all the time to prevent a stroke. So we already know that. But if you have a spell, we're not sure what's going on, like you get dizzy, or you, you feel like you might collapse, or if you suddenly wake up and you're like, I don't know how I got here. Well, an irregular heartbeat is, is something that if you stutter around for just a couple of seconds, you know what, you could faint. Mm. And then everything is back to normal and so there's no footprints left behind. And so you wanna be recorded. So what we're gonna do is just leave a little recorder behind. And uh, it's always on, it's always recording. And so whether you feel it or not, if you start missing heartbeats or something, we'll, we'll know about it. So to put in the recorder, all we do is find a comfortable spot, make a little bitty nick in the skin, this is a spacer. And then you take the monitor. Now just to show you, this is the monitor. St. Jude Medical, now owned by Abbott. Abbott seems to own a lot of things. I guess, I don't know. Let's see if all over the place. Now you are what we call petite. Mm. Meaning, like me, I got tons of padding. You'll never find it or feel it. <laughs> so all we do is take this little plastic device and we just kind of wiggle it under the skin a little bit. Now some people's skin's a little bit snugger than others. And so it's just under the skin. It's all numb, so hopefully none of that's hurting. No, not, not now. <laughs> and it's in. So that's her EKG. We are across the room using a Bluetooth connection, but the monitor is what's recording the data. So if you have an iPhone and everyone needs some password that no one on earth can remember, you're not alone. Because Apple is just like that, because it's Apple. Gosh, we love Apple products. <laughs> anyway, um, a phone can be used to help send me information remotely. So we're fundamentally, we're done. And to be honest, the Band-Aid is mostly for sympathy. <laughs> and so your shirt wouldn't rub on it. But as you can see, if you want to zoom in there, there is a tiny tiny nick and we used a, a, a absorbable stitch to hold it shut I covered it with that purple glue and then I covered it that with surgical tape which is overkill mm. and like I said we I, I love giving folks a band-aid just so nothing rubs on it but that, right. it's unnecessary 